twiddle okay. my mustache into the. <laughs> okay. Well, I it's I I I. I I'm... Yeah. Right. Yes. Deal. Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast: Drupal Technology, Community, and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast: Drupal Technology, Community, and Business. There's a module for that. There, of course, there is. We're back with another. Acquia video podcast, and I am extremely excited to have two guests with me today. They're from the organization team from this year's Bad Camp, which is going to be happening in Berkeley in just a few weeks. I have with me Anne Stefanik. Hi, Anne. Hi. And David Wong. How are you doing, David? I'm good. I'm good. So, one of you tell us, please the dates and location of the next Bad Camp. Bad Camp's happening this year, October 24th through 27th at UC Berkeley, which is just a short distance away from San Francisco and in the general Bay Area. Cool. So both of you are on the committee. David Wong, why don't you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do with Drupal. Um, so I've been working with Drupal for six, seven years now. Um, I've worked for a variety of different companies. Um, I've worked at a hospital, I've worked at a natural history museum, the Field Museum in Chicago. If you were, uh, if you were at DrupalCon Chicago, the, uh, the party was held in basically my living room or my work's living room. Um, I've worked at uh, a nonprofit here in the Bay Area and uh, now I've worked for, uh, for Acquia. I went to that party in the Field Museum. Thank you very much for letting us into your house. So, Anne, yeah, so my name's Anne Stefanik. I love uh, open source. I've been working in Drupal for about six years myself as well. I work on the client side, which is not server side, but I actually work with clients and help understand and define their scope and their projects. And a big part of my contribution, since I'm not a coder, is in community collaboration and getting people together. So I've been, uh, I coordinated Bad Camp last year and working with the team this year once again to run the event. Um, I also run a local user group meetup and an open hack night to encourage social coding. Um, I'm a big advocate of open source and um, have been working in the Bay Area recently. And uh, I'm currently in Canada and working remote on uh, my own consulting projects as well as Bad Camp. <laughs> Hey, and uh, nice work on the geek joke, you know, client side, server side, good stuff. <laughs> way, way to work the crowd. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having us. So I'd, I'm really interested to know how long Bad Camp has been running and how it all got started. So this is Bad Camp's seventh year. It originally started with Jen Lampton and um, Tao, who started at UC Berkeley seven years ago with a small 300-person camp. Um, back in the day, 300 per people was actually a fairly large camp, and now we're seven years later. We're expecting about 15 to 1,700 attendees, and we've taken over a huge portion of UC Berkeley compared to where we were seven years ago. Um, we've got summits and trainings, and fortunately, all in all, through all the years, we've kept it free for the attendees to, to play and come and contribute. So, David, Bad Camp's one of the largest events. It's probably the largest Drupal camp in the calendar. What's the secret of its success? You know, I'd be lying to say that Northern California didn't have a lot to do with it. There, there's just a density of technology interest and business and talent here. Um, and, and that contributes massively to uh, just the, the kind of concentration of people that come. But I, I just sort of attribute to it. The weather's really nice. Um, it's a beautiful campus. It's completely free. And it, it's just one of those things where, you know, there's a huge snowball effect that happens every year. And I'm all really surprised that it happens. But when it happens, it, you know, you can see it in the sign-up logs. You know, like one person tells another person. And then once you get that critical mass coming, you know, everybody just wants to come, and, and the event is so much better for it. What's your hope for the for the future of Bad Camp? Well, personally, I, I'd like to see Bad Camp 
well, stay, you know, sort of maintain its sort of freewheeling spirit, but but also scale with the community. I, you know, Drupal events are, you know, Batcamp in many ways is sort of the alternative to people who can't afford to go to a, a four-pay Drupal event, you know, in in the late in, in later in the year. Like, you know, th there's challenges to going to Europe. You know, your job may not you know, uh, sponsor you, you know, it may be difficult to get the time off, you know, travel is certainly more expensive overseas, you know, Badcamp presents an alternative where, you know, if you don't have the resources, if you're just getting into Drupal, if you're not working for a Drupal shop, if you want to just figure out what Drupal is, or if you just need that extra community jolt, you know, Badcamp is, it's the alternative. Um, and, and again, I, I, it, it sounds very, very San Francisco to say this, but, you know, it, it's, we, we are trying to keep it as, you know, community focused. It's, it's more about the developers. It, it's more about empowering new developers. It's about introducing people to the community than sort of, uh, you know, you're already in the community. You know, how do you, you know, it's, very, it's much less biz dev and it's much more developer focused. And we like to keep that focus because it's a, it, in, in a community that's growing as fast as ours with demand growing even faster than, the community itself, you know, it, it's good to to be a, a, an entree for for people who are new. Okay, so it's a it's a low cost, low risk, high value entry point into the Drupal community. Absolutely, yeah, all of the above. And, and what do you think about uh, Badcamp's future? Where would you like to see it go? Well, I'm really excited about a keeping it accessible and free for the end users to come. I'm really excited about how much training that we're able to offer and allow people to come and, and test the waters in Drupal and try things out. I'm also really excited about some of our industry-specific uh, summits that we hold, so it allows a greater collaboration between specific verticals. For example, this year we have a new commerce summit, which is allowing people that come together that work in commerce to um, collaborate and share stories and build upon each other's ideas. So the verticals, the vertical specific summits have, have shown extreme interest in growth. Most of them have already filled up or are soon to be filled up. So um, if you're interested, do register. And I find like the, the evolution of being able to bring people together. We see a lot of people come to Bad Camp because it is affordable, because it is accessible, because it's in a really cool area, technical hub, that we're seeing more and more community contributions come together. There's a lot of independent sprints that are run, a lot of other companies that are putting together events that will tack on to Bad Camp, making it, you know, making our efforts just balloon out bigger and having the synergy of people come together and really collaborate. So I see the future of Bad Camp really being continuing to keep it accessible, um, keep attracting the brightest minds in Drupal, and really pushing our project forward. Um, with Drupal 8 coming out, you know, there's a lot of noise. People want to know what's going on. And fortunately, through avenues with summits and trainings and just the overall Bad Camp um, events that are going on, we're able to get together as a community and work together face to face. And it's such a rich experience. I want to keep facilitating those um, those magical moments that happen on campus. Time for the shameless pitch. David, what is the one thing that developers should know about this year's Bad Camp? Um, the, the summits are better than ever. We, uh, they're, they're super popular. They're told if you have a vertical or, uh, or uh, uh, you know, an industry that is represented at one of the summits, it is absolutely to your benefit to come to one of these summits. You're going to meet people who are in the same boat as you, people who may be looking to hire people just like you, people who want to start a company with people just like you. There's all kinds of opportunity that just emerges at Bad Camp because all sorts of people come. And uh, it's a fantastic place as a developer to to come and network and to, to learn from others. And it, it's there really isn't anything like it. I mean, it, it, in many ways, it's distinct from DrupalCon in that you, you get a lot more organic hallway interaction because we, we shove a lot of people in a very small space. And this sort of thing just happens, you know, versus the more spaced out and, 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 and track-like track like focus of, uh, of DrupalCon. OK, so 2013.badcamp.net. And what can you add to David's shameless pitch? 
<laughs> I'd have to say there's something magical about bad camp that's that's here to stay. And the magic is that we all bring in our hearts that care about the project and that want to work on stuff together. So you, you'll meet the rock stars that you see online. You're going to meet noobs that have no idea what's going on. And it's a real sense of community. So it's one place that we can all come together and collaborate no matter what level, no matter what skill set. And we can all come and everybody leaves inspired. We have an amazing party planned for Saturday night. We have a rooftop that's going to be pretty magical. And um, <laughs> that's just a bit of a, of a leak there. But there's going to be some magic that will happen throughout the event. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Do I have to bring a costume this year? I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. No, you don't. It's uh, You actually don't have to bring a costume. You just need to come with good spirits and uh, with, with the energy to collaborate. So just a lot of magic. The theme this year is magic. So if we all work hard, um, we, you'd be absolutely surprised that we can create. Last year, Twig got put into core thanks to Jen's efforts, which was a big announcement. We did a lot of big sprints. I'm really excited to see the community come together and, and create the magic that we do online. All right. Thank you very, very much both of you for taking the time with, to talk with me and hopefully we'll see you in Berkeley this October. That sounds great. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Jam. Thanks, Jam. See you guys. <laughs>